folks, Eric here, and today I want to talk about how to get a high quality audio using the Zoom platform. Now, I've been working with a lot of colleagues, performers, and music teachers in the last couple of weeks um, trying to get good quality audio using the Zoom platform. And although there are some advanced audio settings like uh, use original sound and some of the other um, compression and noise canceling functions you can turn off in the advanced audio settings, um, there is a Zoom hack I've come across where you can use uh, Share My Desktop and turn on the uh, use desktop audio and optimize for videos to get full quality audio when you're presenting. So we're gonna talk about that today. Okay, so our first step is to get our audio and video into a program that allows us to route that. Um, and so in my case, I'm using OBS, Open Broadcasting System by Streamlabs Studio. This is an open source free software that's really flexible and powerful. A lot of people use it to stream to YouTube. And the thing that is beneficial with this program is I can route my audio however I want it, bring in different sources, and also uh, capture the video. And so those are the two things that we need to be able to capture high quality video and audio to then share in Zoom. So let's get it set up in OBS and then we'll talk about how to pull it into Zoom for high quality streaming. So down here, I've already got my scene set up. So if I set up just a new scene, um, you won't be able to see it if I transfer it, but I would add a new video source. And so right here, they show up automatically because I've already um, added my video capture card or camera. Uh, you'll probably have most people of USB webcam or, and USB mic. And so you would find them in this list or you can just find video capture device. And when I create new right here, um, you'll see the options to find it. And so I only have um, several things plugged in. So if I had a, maybe a Logitech or other common webcam, I'd find it here. And then for all the other things, I, as a general rule in most technology, leave it at the default until you know enough to know you want something else. So you'd say, okay. And then that device would appear here uh, if I had another device working. If you want to get rid of things, just subtract right there. So I'll get rid of this unnecessary thing. And then the other important part is in this mixer part, you want to make sure you're seeing the audios. If you bring in a camera device, you're probably going to see an associated audio device as well, unless you remove it. So if I add this camera device and it has audio associated with it, you'll see that here. I've subtracted it so there's no feedback. And so in those cases, you want to mute the any audio that isn't what you want so if you have an external mic like i do i only want one audio source here um, now some people may have um, other audio tracks here because they're set to leave them in in all scenes and if that's the case you actually want to remove those so if you go over to settings here and under um, audio this is devices that will be on in all the channels. And so if you're having trouble with feedback or echoes, it's probably because you've got one of these on as well as bringing it in as a scene. So I would turn all these off, disable them, and then apply and hit OK. And then uh, you'll just have what you actually bring in to the sources of the shot. And so right now I've got one audio source from my microphone interface, and then I'll get rid of this extra one and one video source. And so that's how we're gonna get OBS the sources it needs because if this is showing signal here, then that means it's getting out to our system audio. Now, if you wanna see where to generally get system audio, I'll show you in a little bit on the Macintosh platform, but on uh, Windows platform, it's down here on the bottom right. And if you just click it normally, it should show up here. Um, and you can click down and find your source. It's probably going to be headphone, whatever. And so that's where the audio from this program is going to go, but it's also where Zoom is going to be pulling from when you do share desktop and share desktop audio. Um, if you have any more detailed problems, you can right click on that audio button and you'll get more options to go in your system sounds or to adjust the mixer. And so I'll post some links to get more details on that. But if you are having routing problems, it may be something you have to change there. All right, so using the Macintosh system, if we're in Zoom, you can still access those same audio settings um, as you normally would. And so you should be able to find sources for microphone and, and speaker. Um, but if you have any issues that you need to check on the system sounds, um, you'd go into system preferences, either up here at the Apple logo or down here in the little gear logo on the tray. Find your audio sound preferences and then input will be the devices available to you. So this is just um, headphones I have plugged in 
it may just say internal microphone if there's nothing plugged in and you have a laptop um, that has internal mic and video. And so that's where you'd adjust your sources on the Mac. So for this next part, you're really going to want a second monitor because what we need to do is take this output window. And by the way, if you aren't in studio mode, maybe it looks like this with one window, you need to be in studio mode so that you make sure you see what your setup of your shot is. So right here, and then the output window, which is actually what's getting streamed or in this case recorded. And that's what we're going to be using uh, to pull into Zoom. And so um, this is my just single camera shot and so eventually where this is what we're going to use so that you have one camera shot of your performer and so now you probably do not see the uh, rest of the desktop and i'll go back to desktop and so that desktop scene i made up uh, you won't need that for just performing but just so you know what i'm doing with this um, and so this output window is what we're going to use and if you right click on it you'll see options to send this to the monitors that are hooked up and so i have a second monitor here which you currently won't see. But if I send it over there, now this whole screen is being sent over to another monitor, which I can capture with Zoom. So I've got my video taken care of with that. And that's really the one of the big reasons to use OBS. We could use other software to just pull in the audio, um, but they won't have the video monitoring capability that this has. So you really need a streaming um, kind of broadcasting software. And so we've got our video going over to the other monitor. I'll just show you if I go to monitor share two over here, um, you can see uh, share, share one. Oh, it's reproducing because it's showing what's on OBS and then monitor. And then, um, but this this would be me um, on the other monitor, and so that's what our performer we want to see. And then um, as far as the audio, like we said, we already have audio coming in here, which is being monitored by the Windows system sounds by default until you do something special. Um, but in most cases, and that's what that's desktop audio, what you would do if you just plugged into your computer with headphones would hear is what Zoom's going to monitor, which is high quality um, versus when you're not sharing, you get this kind of compressed, low latency, optimized for voice conversation, but that's uh, very reduced in quality. And so let's open up a Zoom session. And so I've already got one I'm going over here. And look at the options we have. Now, just a quick uh, review. So in our video settings, you can do things like enable HD, which I'm going to because I want a good view. And there's if you have more kind of uh, technical savvy around video, you can change these other options. Um, I leave them uh, because they look pretty good for me. But that's where they are. And then the audio settings, um, I'll leave links to a more detailed run through about this. But this is how to get better general audio in Zoom just for conferences. We actually, we actually aren't going to use these for this, but here's where they are. You would turn off automatic volume adjust under advanced, make sure it's showing enable original sound, disable these, and then leave that to auto instead of aggressive. And so that's your general meeting audio quality settings. But we're actually going to want to go to share screen. And now because we've sent this kind of virtual projector from OBS, that's where we'll be able to see, and I'll show you myself in that, um, just so you see that it's going to be showing the one camera send from OBS. So that's what this is over here. And then here's the important part is when you share computer sound and optimize for video clip, that's going to give you your computer's audio at full quality. So it's just going to stream that. Um, and so as long as your computer audio has a good input, in this case from my microphone, or you can play music from a player or play videos, you're going to get that full quality audio sound. And as soon as I hit share, now we have lots of feedback and <laughs> repetitions, but um, as far as video, I'm now sharing this video and also this high quality audio is going to Zoom. Um, and so just one more time, bringing up that Zoom meeting. So go to share, you'll select your output so you can select the whole screen and, and other things if you wanted to show um, other windows that are open. But in this case, I just want a video pointed at my performer or teacher. And then the two key adjustments are turning your audio on there and there. And when you share, that'll give you the full desktop audio quality. All right, and so when you want to stop sharing that screen to go back to maybe conversation, just up in the top center, it'll have stop share. You can also change your source. So if there's something wrong or you need to put that audio setting back on, 
that stop is right on the center and you will return back to your normal meeting now. When you do that, you're going to probably have to reassign your mic because it was being kind of captured by OBS. So your microphone and your camera, um, and I have had problems with reassigning cameras. And so you might need a second um, web camera or to, to possibly, you know, turn off OBS if you go back up. So in our case, we had a performer do that. Um, we just turned off his camera for a minute and had other people talk um, uh, while we re reassigned that. So it'd be a little tougher for a teaching situation, but that is how you go back and find your camera source once you're done screen sharing. Like I said, because OBS is capturing those sources, you may have to re reassign them or even turn OBS off to go back to using them in Zoom. So with the remainder of the video, I'm going to play you samples of high quality audio going through a Zoom session with the various settings from both um, sharing screen to get the high quality and then also with the various optimizations you can do during the regular meeting portion of Zoom and then with all those off just to hear the differences. This is a test. This is an audio quality test. Check one, two, three. Do. This is a test. This is an audio quality test. Check one, two, three. Do. This is a test. This is an audio quality test. Check one, two, three. Do. This is a test. This is an audio quality test. Check one, two, three. Do.
Thank you for joining me today. Please check in the description below for more links about audio setup and different ways to optimize your sound for doing remote performances and teaching. And please uh, message me, email me uh, if you have any other questions or comments or something that you want to know more about. Thank you.